there everybody it's Simran Singh here I wanted to bring you to a certain spot to talk to you today I spent the last two months really going inside into the very depths of myself and in doing so I discovered quite a bit I discovered that we all live pretty much in a place where we know what's underneath but we don't necessarily want to go into the murky depths hence the marsh behind me it's really pretty back there if you look at the golden grass, if you look at the way it blows in the wind, if you even look at the bridge behind it, it all looks really, really beautiful, but what we don't realize is what's underneath. It's muddy. It's muddy waters. There's a lot floating underneath there, and there's a lot of life. You see, in those murky depths is really where our aliveness is. It's where something new can grow and something new can be seen. And what the depths of my time together showed me is that I had to go really into those places. So right now, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about uh, really being in your heart, really centering in your heart in this moment. And I want you to go to a place of losing the thing that you cherish most on this planet. If you had to really lose something that was your heart, was your soul, was the thing that you loved and cherished more than anything on this earth. And in an instant it was gone. Imagine where that would leave you. Imagine where that would put you. Imagine what that experience was really there asking of you. Not to take you down, although you may find yourself belly to the earth as I did for a couple of months. You may find yourself weeping, you may find yourself not wanting to go on. You may find yourself in all the stages of death and dying. But there comes a point where you hit bottom and then there's nowhere else to go but back up. And until that point you go through the murky depths and you find out what real pain is. You find out what it really means to feel that level of pain. And in that place what I discovered was what the mother was really asking us, what the great mother, the mother earth was really really asking us to look at. What I discovered is the great mother earth is asking us to look at where we were taken, where things have been taken from her. I mean look at what we do, we build bridges on the planet, we cut into the skin of the earth, we we create in the name of progress and technology. No wonder the earth is coming back at us angry, sad, depressed, hurting, in pain. What are we doing? How have we abandoned, betrayed the very place that is our home? How are we not looking at what the sacred feminine is asking of us? You see, the divine feminine is not just this place of stating our femininity and stating that the power of women is here to be back. The Divine Feminine is really asking us to go into the depths of our pain, to know the tragedy of loss, to know the heartache that sits within ourselves and our cellular structure, the lineages and the times upon times that people have been persecuted and hurt and been embattled. That is what the Divine Mother is asking us. That is what the Divine Feminine is calling from within us. And so each and every moment of pain that we experience, each and every moment of challenge or obstacle, filled with all the many signs and symbols that we have before us, that we in fact create ourselves to take us to that place, are here not to break us, are here not for us to do anything, are here not for us to fight, but in fact here so that we become inspired. That we become inspired into something. I ask you today, are you a human or are you a divine human? There's a very strong distinction between the two. To be human means that you are in life and life's happening to you. To be divine human means that you allow life in all its forms, those which we label good and bad, right and wrong, painful and blissful. And we allow divinity and experience to come through us. Are you inspired? Is something inspired to come through you right now? Whatever you're facing in your life, it's asking for you to be inspired in a new way, to express an experience in a new way, 
and to allow each of your chakras to now fully be emblazoned that they reveal the true human divineness that you are. I'm standing right here beside you, building bridges of the heart instead of bridges on land. In love, of love, with love, and as love, I'm Simran. I'll see you tomorrow.